Hi everyone, welcome to Rensport. So we've got our closed beta access key today. So we've downloaded uh, the game, had a bit of a play with the menus uh, for sure before we started driving. So I've set up the uh, FOV, we've got the uh, steering wheel there's one to one which seemed to pretty much dial in straight away. Didn't, didn't have to do much with that. Um, so we've fixed our graphics, we had to run DLSS and then restart the game because we're only getting about 35 FPS. Uh, to start we're now up around 85 to 90. Um, so basically this is our very first drive, haven't touched it at all. Got auto clutch on uh, at the moment, it's going to launch out of the pits. I'm here at the Nürburgring in a BMW M4 GT3, we turn the pit limiter on as well. This car we've driven in plenty of other simulators, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how it compares. It's not going for any sort of lap times of course, we're just going to literally have a look at it and, and just see how it feels in this very early access stage. Of course, the big question is where does Rensport fit in in the uh, in the landscape of of sim racing? Well, that's the biggest question for me because obviously, if you uh, plenty of options, if you want to have the best sim for driving an actual car or how it feels to drive an actual car, you've got R Factor. Um, if you want that variety, uh, you've got things like Assetto Corsa and uh, Automobilista 2, which have, you know you can drive all sorts of vehicles. Uh, and both games obviously look really good, especially uh, AC with the uh, Pure or Soul. Uh, what else we got? We got if you want to uh, play a GT3 simulator with uh, absolutely dead force feedback and horrible curb physics and all that sort of stuff, you play ACC. And of course, if you want to uh, pay a monthly subscription for the pleasure of driving stuff that you already own, you'd uh, go for iRacing. So. Ren Sport's got to fit somewhere in that landscape. And so far all I've seen is really just GT3 cars, so I suppose we have to compare it to ACC. I uh, haven't seen much else uh, coming from them, I'm assuming maybe other cars will come, but at this stage I've only ever seen uh, GT content. And of course all these tracks that you've, again, already seen in every other simulator. So on the uh, on this closed BD you get uh, Nürburgring, uh, I believe Monza is in there, Hockenheim, uh, and Spa I think as well, so a few of the well-known circuits. HUD looks fairly clean and nice, uh, we'll just turn down the TC and the ABS to see how the thing actually drives in a second. Uh, yeah, HUD's okay, I obviously turned a lot of that stuff off um, if I was actually racing. And so have the curves there, you can actually, you can feel the curves, that's a good start I suppose. Wouldn't say graphically it looks fantastic. Sort of, looks okay. Um, there's a lot of popping, you'll see the Mercedes Arena, there it goes, just pops into view in the distance there. Actually get the, uh, the vibe of... Uh, like someone's uh, done a, a mod track for the original Assetto Corsa, you know, the grass is very long and unkept and just has a bit of a feeling about it in terms of the track detail, track side detail, sorry. I'm not sure if uh, Rensport have a laser scan their tracks or not. And then it looks like Nürburgring. You run over the curves, there's a bit of a rumble through the steering wheel. Wouldn't say it's uh, you're feeling lots of road effects, that's for sure. Then running over that curb there, there was nothing really coming through the wheel, and it's just a little bit of a vibration to sort of know that you've hit something different from the tarmac. I think coming through the hairpin here, we'll run over the curb there and up through the Schumacher S. Run out wide here. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's okay, I suppose. Some curbs uh, feel better than others. Sounds pretty good as well. There's uh, lots of pops and baubles there from the engine. And again, you sort of play with those uh, those values as you went along. Turn down some of the... Uh, like that, very loud when you run over the rumble strip. That's because I haven't... I haven't touched those settings. I want to bash these curves to see how it. The penalty there for a track cut. <coughs> well, again, it's. Uh, I'd still call it a bit vague. 
to be honest, but obviously it's very, very early access at this stage. Nothing really exciting me though, it's still just a, a GT3 car at Nürburgring, which you can do in plenty of other simulators, and to be honest, if I was going to do a uh, GT3 at Nürburgring, I'd probably pick the uh, Race Sim Studio cars from the original Assetto Corsa. The uh, RSS cars are just phenomenal and uh, definitely a lot better than anything ACC has to offer. And most people know I'm not a, not a fan at all of ACC. I was a bit, a bit wobbly, a bit of a wet noodle there through the slow section. There's definitely a weird granular thing right there when you're understeering through a corner. It's hard to describe without you know, sort of feeling it yourself. The car does light up nice on the brakes there, you can feel the weight transfer to that as we're coming down into that hairpin there into that outside left hand tyre. Well, there is good weight transfer, you can definitely feel the tyre loading up on the outside. Just a bit of uh, vagary through the corner I'd call it. And slightly weird textures on some of the trees, it looks uh, so that's coming from something that looks stunning like a you know, Automobilista 2 or a set of, set of Corsa with all the mods. A lot of stuff these days will look a bit, little bit plain. Yes, yeah, so I'll say at the moment old stations, that's um, I don't know how far off release this is, it's definitely not uh, R Factor like, if there was a rumour that they stole on the uh, R Factor code, uh, if that is the case, well, they haven't put the code to very good use let me tell you, so uh, certainly not R Factor like at all in its, uh, in its driving, definitely more on the vague side of an ACC. So I haven't had that weird ACC curb physics where it just pumps you off the road for no reason. It's quite good on the brakes. Nice bit of brake modulation, brake feel there. Getting 100% braking there from the pedal, so I haven't played too much with that. Definitely a lot of little graphical imperfections for sure, especially when it comes to the lighting where the sun will be coming through the uh, through the windscreen there. It's a few little artifacts here and there. Gotta say, certainly uh, not the weight that we've been waiting for. We've had the, uh, well, we signed up for the B to key well over 12 months ago. I'm glad I wasn't holding my breath, to be honest. I suppose there's uh, plenty of time, but yeah, the main thing for me is I just don't know why you would want to buy this over any of the other simulators, and uh, especially with AC2 coming out in the next, uh, well, at least 12 months, if not 6 months. Just don't know why you would need to have a rent sport at this stage. There's nothing different enough from what I've heard to uh, warrant you adding another simulator to your collection. Try and do a half decent lap here. Bring that TC up a little bit. track quality is weird as well, it just doesn't look polished. And of course it won't because it's uh, still a long way off release, but it just looks more like a mod track than a uh, something you get from official content. It's 
So the weight transfer does feel good. You really feel it when the car loads up on those outside tyres. Definitely a lot of work for the developers to do over the next well, 12 to 18 months, whenever this gets released. At this stage, I couldn't see me parting with uh, the hard-earned cash to buy this or any other content that it might have. Okay, we'll finish the lap off. Alright guys, well uh, that's my first look at Rensport. Nothing overly exciting about it, um, but thanks for watching anyway.